A lot of times lawyers call me up and they say, Todd, I want to find out if I've got a case here. I've got an individual that was driving their vehicle. It was, they were involved in a, in a rollover accident. No one else was involved. And I ask them, well, first of all, was your client seat belted? They said, yeah, they were. And I said, let me send you a photograph. And they send me a photograph and I look at the vehicle and the door is open. The door is actually peeled off and the, their occupant was, or their client was actually hanging outside the vehicle with the seat belt on and the door looks like this. And I, I tell that lawyer, you have to think outside the box and focus on who caused the injury, not who caused the accident. In a negligence case, it's okay to, th to focus on who was causing the accident, who was responsible for the accident. But in a vehicle defect case or a vehicle crash worthiness case, that lawyer and lawyers like me have to focus on who caused the injuries. And I can tell you, when a door does this in a rollover accident, the safety system is not performing its role. What is the door's role in an accident? The door's role is to keep the occupant inside the vehicle, and more importantly, in a frontal impact or a side impact, the door has to maintain its structural integrity so that the incoming vehicle is actually deflected or diverted away, much like a guardrail does on a road surface.